<laughs> step number one is to block the sword. Exactly. Step number two is to, to drop. To drop and third step is to take all the way back to the belly button. Pull back. All right, let's. Oh. I don't know. What am I even here for? <laughs> <laughs> is this, is this you want to teach this? <laughs> Boom! What's up guys? Welcome to a new video of the Flowing Dutchman. In this video, I'm gonna meet with Surya and Dave. And Surya has his own um, studio YouTube channel. and YouTube channel and also a studio right in New Delhi yes in New Delhi and GK2 GK2 and it's based around Kung Fu now Kung Fu is something I've never done before so this is going to be very interesting and what I'm also going to do is show him some of the flow arts that I've been practicing for a long time <laughs> okay so in this video I'm going to talk uh, Surya through a few key moves that we're going to do with the mace. Now the thing you got to know about the mace is that it originates in India. So in India they have been using the gada uh, for more than a thousand years in akharas and they use it for wrestling training. Uh, the, the reason why they use it is because they pull someone over the head and they mimic that same amount, that same move. So you basically teach the body to pull someone with your whole body over the shoulder and you become really strong in your grip strength shoulder strength and tricep strength with the main move of the mace now i'm gonna take i'm gonna take surya through the main move and see what his reactions are on that move so yes by the way i want to ask you the thing you mentioned is uh, that mace specially works on our rotational strength right the it's rotational the incredible rotational strength yeah so the rotating yes exactly so there's a rotated cuff inside of the shoulder. the shoulder yes so we're moving continuously with the elbow in and with the elbow out so in that way we mimic the idea of punching and using our body to generate force right if you punch i always use this example if you punch someone like this straight nothing will happen but then again if you punch something like this then you generate more force and more momentum into that same attack now the same thing applies to mace training so whenever we swing something Sorry. Yes. Whenever we swing something, you could do it very statically. But then the moment the weight becomes heavier, there's this chance and opportunity to start using the body and start to incorporate all the muscles in the upper body. Just touch the screen. Touch the screen. Okay. And you'll see now that I'm starting to use my lats my shoulders and I'm starting to pull down to generate force in this movement. Okay, so Surya is now touching the mace. Now, as he has quite a lot of experience with martial arts and Kung Fu, I think he will be able to um, perform this pretty well, pretty fast. Most people, it's, it's, it's also a lot, training with the mace is also a lot about hand and eye coordination, knowing where you are in space. And that helps a lot when you're doing martial arts. So that's why the mace also has some martial arts uh, approaches and some of the moves actually come from martial arts which is a lot of fun but Surya so you have now the mace in your hands so you've seen my channel before so you know that this is yeah. one of the starting positions one of, of the, the starting mace. position 360 uh, yes you told it's in, indeed a 360 now what a 360 means is that the head of the mace so the globe goes around the body and makes a 360 degree round right so that would be our main uh, move. Now, to start this move, we're gonna st we're gonna start halfway on the mace. Okay. That'll be fine. And we're gonna go over the upper hand. Now, the reason why we go over the upper hand is to mean uh, that whenever we go the opposite way, we can switch hands. So we use both sides equally. Now, the idea would be to go over this shoulder. Now, I already see that you're tensing up. It's the first thing that people do when they attach something to iron. Uh, People have learned this, the moment you start to hold someone of steel, you, yeah, exactly, you need to tense up the muscles, relax. relax, relax your hands, this will help with your improvement on the base. Mm. Now, when we go over this shoulder, we have three moves. First one, we're going to press up, so that's blocking a sword, indeed. So pressing up would be, if someone we, somebody would cut us here, we would still be able to block. So that means we're not going here, right? Now he would still Head not shot. be able to block. 
And this is because the mace needs to travel down and we want to create and generate momentum. Now the reason why we create momentum is because we let go here, it can come up all the way down. So the next position would be to drop it behind the head. Now as he drops, you'll see that both hands are all the way down. Now this is important to relax in this position. Most people want to be here and tighten the triceps. This is not a good position. This is a correct position. Now as he comes up, he pulls back over the shoulder to the starting position. So both hands are back at his belly button. Now try this again, Surya. Okay. I think you now know the steps now a little bit. Now it's time to dive in and swim. Swim. <laughs> right, so step number one is to block the sword. Exactly. Step number two is to, to drop. To drop. And third step is to take all the way back to the belly button. Pull back. All right. Let's. Uh, the first round. All right. Yeah. Easy. First relax. one. And first one is where you uh, generate power from the shoulders. You press up. Okay. Jai Shri Ram. Jai Shri Ram. Yeah. I told you he he was gonna be good at this. I knew. Okay. Is this the perfect one? Or it can be better, I guess. Perfect is, uh, no, is I, I'm, I'm also not perfect. Okay. So I have to go down? <laughs> yeah, so again, left hand up top, you can go down. Left hand up top, yep. Still with the left shoulder. Okay, easy. Yes, good. Now the movement he does with his hands are awesome. The thing is, you're still moving a lot with your hips. Yes. Right? You're, gen you're, you're trying to uh, catch the force with your hips and moving up. Now let's try to control the hips. Put your feet straight forward, a little bit closer. Mm -hmm. And now pull your toes up mm -hmm. and down again so you feel this connection. Now rotate your hips under so you are secure. So you need to have this idea that whenever I push you, yes. you you'll know from martial yes, arts, yes, yes. you we'll have a yeah. strong, powerful stance. Yes. So this is important because there is something around the body going on. Okay, so should I? Yeah. For one, two, three. Much better. Look. A bit of a grip. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's go. He's already... Have you done this before? No, no it's the first time. You just saw I mean, I'm it. used yeah, to yeah. use the swords, heavy sword, like 5 kg sword and yeah, yeah, yeah. big sticks. So, uh, you know, as you told me, uh, uh, if someone is starting from here, it will be much difficult. But I'm already, you know, yes, practicing yes. multiple things. Yeah, yeah. I guess I can even try one-handed. Yeah, I mean, let's let's do it. Uh, I just have to, you know, to make sure my grip is a bit better. It's it's warm today in Delhi. Yeah. Oh. I don't have, I, What am I even here for? <laughs> is this? Is this you want to teach this? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 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 it's first time, but... Oh, I can try one uh, Kung Fu move with this. Yeah, should uh, I? <laughs> yes, go for it, man. Oh, man. You, you got it, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will try a Kung Fu. Uh, ready? Uh -huh. Is this a kung fu move? One of the kung fu move in martial art. You use this uh, right. to use a sword. For example, this is my sword. Huh. If someone is coming, I can use it to cut. Yes. And this move is, I mean, we use this move to cut. Right. We use this move to punch. And as you said, uh, Bruce Lee also used to uh, use this shoulder push, just like this. Huh. So yeah. Can you show it again? That was awesome. It was really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, sure. One, two, one. Two. Just like this, and yeah, we can yeah, also, yeah, yeah, yeah. for hit purpose, yeah, 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 yeah. we can perform. <laughs> this is so cool, man. Oh, yeah, this is just the first time. <laughs> one. It's always amazing to see how people, um, especially people who have some experience in martial arts and in training, how they respond to something new like this. And here you also see that some, yeah, yeah, perfect. Oh yeah. Uppercuts? Yeah, cool man. Awesome. Okay. It's really cool. Oh yeah, it's your turn. Huh? So yeah, so, so something that you were doing, for example, you, you went over the head 
and then you have this front swing. Yes. Now this is basic. This is a, this is one of the main patterns that you'll see in maze training because we're creating this pattern of a upper swing and a lower swing. Now, as I'll teach you a little bit about the Indian clubs as well, you'll find that this same pattern continues with every swinging motion. Right? There's an upper part, and then okay, let's see what you were doing. Um, you were going clear, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. So the idea of maze training so far has been to explore what is possible creating momentum. So there's not really a fixed system, at least yet, because we're exploring like what is possible. And there's so much possible because you can do this from multiple angles, multiple sides of the maze, and keep rotating. So I'm yes. But the basic idea is to keep that momentum going, right? That is the flow, wherever you create a pattern and it moves from side to side and you can, like you can block the momentum, go back from it, you can move around it and still use the momentum. So now you start to do different pivots, leg movements, and like you already were doing, leg yeah. exercises and of course the uppercuts, spears, throwing it around and this must be familiar to some exercises within martial arts I'm sure of that but I'm really interested in knowing more about some of the moves that I'm doing for example and that you have some uh, relevance with with other styles okay so uh, the first of all the move uh, just he just did uh, it is unique on itself but some of the things which I saw we use in martial art for example you see you know Conor McGregor yes he's he's not much of a kicking guy he's more, more of a punching guy so I mean if he started training with him I mean Conor McGregor if started training with him I, I'm pretty sure he can you know increase his punching power because in martial art we are used mm -hmm. to throw punch we are used to extend our shoulder so what you are doing is with weight so it makes us faster to do this uh -huh. if someone is coming like blocking and punch and you know as you told me yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah as you told me this you know throwing motion yeah right for right. example like you're uh, let's just say you're punching me uh, yeah. This, yeah this is normal punch oh can we just take it uh, otherwise you hear that familiar may sound when it drops <laughs> no, I don't want to hear that. <laughs> okay, so as you told me, this is punch. Yeah. Now, if we are doing this flow, huh. I mean, he's pun he. I mean, I'm sure he can punch me very hard. Punch me. I mean, I can take this in this direction, or I can do this. Uh, punch me again. Right, and you come in. Yeah, because I'm used to it. He's also generating some momentum, uh -huh. and I can use that momentum. training mm -hmm. to, you know, just to throw you. Bam, bam. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> All right. KO, KO, KO. So Very yeah, cool. th there are a lot of similarities between you know martial art and mace. I mean, as you told us, Indian wrestler use this to fight and battle and warriors. You know. Yeah, and even like I, there, there are so many circular um, clubs and patterns. Like I've seen in India as well. There's even the chuck. I'm not even sure if you know it, but it's like a wheel of these balls rolling around. And these used to be very sharp balls, so you can actually move it around, so you, you attack uh, enemies. And it's the same thing with the mace. The mace is just a little heavier than it would be in the, on the battlefield, but if you attach some spikes on it, it would be a very deadly, very, weapon. Very deadly weapon. And especially if you're able to generate momentum and know how to create force out of nothing, uh, basically, out of the momentum, you create more speed and eventually more weight, that would be very very beneficial instead of like using too much force the same as with wrestling right if you wrestle the first time i wrestled in akara i was using way too much power so you'll you'll within two or three minutes you're done but they use their energy more efficiently.